Grade 8 math number 15.1b, we're talking about two-way frequency tables. Now we're going to talk about deciding whether there's an association. So frequency is the number of times an event occurs, and relative frequency is the ratio, like a fraction, decimal or percent, of the frequency to the total number of events. It's compared. And we can use relative frequencies to see if there's an association, a connection between two variables or events. So just remember, relative frequency can be written as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent, okay? So, let me back up a little bit. We've got our data in this little graph right here, this little chart, and 300 students were polled to see if there's an association between a student not owning a cell phone and being late for school, all right? So, here's the columns coming up and down. Remember, columns go up and down like the columns of a building and rows go across, okay, like the rows in a theater, like the front row, the back row, okay, they come across horizontally, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is find the relative frequency of not owning a cell phone and being late, okay? So here's late and here's no phone, that's eight. So the total of no phone and late is eight and the total number of students polled with no phone was 80. See? So we have 8 out of 80. And if you remember from the last video, what we do is 8 divided by 80. That gives us 0 0.10 or 10%. So 10% of the students without a cell phone were late. Okay? Now we find the relative frequency of the total late to total polled. So the total that were late, looking down this column, we can see is 30, and the total polled was 300. Well, 30 out of 300 is 30 divided by 300, that's 0 0.10, that equals 10%. Look, both of the relative frequencies were 10%. Now we compare them to see if there's an association. Well, both are 10%. So there's no association between owning a cell phone and being late for school. Whether you own one or not, 10% of the students were late. And the ones that didn't own one, 10% of the students were late. So it didn't matter if the kids had a cell phone or not because 10% of the students were late. And we can't use ordinary frequencies. Remember in the beginning we talked about there's frequencies and there's relative frequencies. Frequency is the number of times an event occurs. Relative frequency is the ratio of the frequency to the total of events, okay? So relative frequency compares how often it happened to how many total happened, okay? Frequency is just how many times it happened. There's no comparison, okay? So the minute we do relative frequency, we're trying to find a relation in the frequency. So relative relation, okay? So we can't use ordinary frequencies when we compare students being late to teachers being late because there's fewer teachers. It's not fair. And the populations aren't evenly split. But we can compare them if we use relative frequencies because we'll take into account that there's less teachers and we'll find a ratio, see? So that is deciding whether there's an association with relative frequencies on a two-way frequency table. And we're going to continue on. And in our next video, 15.1c, we're going to have a partially filled in table and we're going to try to figure out how to fill in, in the rest of the way and see what's going on with it. Okay? All right. I'll see you there. Bye.